Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue the real history through reading. I'm going to continue to read. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt and that the Lord your God brought you out of there with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Therefore, the Lord your God has commanded you to observe the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live long and that it may go well with you in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, you shall not convert your neighbor's wife, you shall not set your desire on your neighbor's house or land, his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. These are the commandments the Lord proclaimed in the loud voice to you, whole assembly there on the mountain from out of the fire, the cloud and the deep darkness, and he added nothing more. Then he wrote them on two stone tablets and gave them to me. When you heard the voice out of the darkness, while the mountain was ablaze with fire, all the leading men of your tribes and your elders came to me, and you said, The Lord our God has shown us his glory and his majesty, and we have heard his voice from the fire. Today we have seen that a man can live even if God speaks with him. But now, why should we die? This great fire will consume us, and we will die if we hear the voice of the Lord our God any longer. For what mortal man has ever heard the voice of the living God speaking out of fire? As we have and survived, go near and listen to all that the Lord our God says. Then tell us whatever the Lord our God tells you, we will listen and obey. The Lord heard you when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I have heard what these people said to you. Everything they said was good. Oh, that uh, their hearts would be inclined to fear me and keep all my commands always, so that it might go well with them and their children forever. Go tell them to return to their tents, but you stay here with me so that I may give you all the commands decrees and laws you are to teach them to follow in the land I am giving them to possess. So be careful to do what the Lord your God had commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left, walking all the way that the Lord our God has commanded you, so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Love the Lord your God. Chapter 6 these are the commands, decrees, and laws the Lord your God directed me to teach you to observe in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess, so that you, your children, and their children after them may fear the Lord our, your God, as long as you live by keeping all his decrees and the commands that I give you, and so that you may enjoy long life. Hear, O Israel, and be careful to obey so that it may go well with you, and that you may increase greatly in the land, flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your fathers, promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I gave you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them in your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you sit up. Tie them as symbol on your hands and bind them on your forehead. Write them on the door frames of your house and on your gates. When the Lord your God brings you into the land, he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you a land with large flourishing cities you did not build, houses filled with all kinds of good things you did not provide, wells you did not dig, and vineyards and olive groves you did not plant, 
Then when you eat and are satisfied, be careful that you do not forget the Lord, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Fear the Lord your God, serve him only, and take your oaths in his name. Do not follow other gods, the gods of the peoples around you. For the Lord your God, who is among you, is jealous God, and his anger will burn against you, and he will destroy you from the face of the land. Do not test the Lord your God as you did at Massah. Be sure to keep the commands of the Lord your God and the stipulations and decrees he has given you. Do what is right and good in the Lord's sight, so that it may go well with you, and you may go in and take over the good land that the Lord promised an oath to your forefathers, thrusting out all your enemies before you, as the Lord said. In the future, when your son asks you what is the meaning of the stipulations, decrees, and the laws the Lord our God has commanded you, Tell him, we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, but the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Before our eyes, the Lord sent miraculous signs and wonders, great and terrible, upon Egypt and Pharaoh and his whole household. But he brought us out from there to bring us in and give us the land that he promised an oath to our forefathers. The Lord commanded us to obey all these decrees and to fear the Lord our God, so that we might always prosper and be kept alive, as it the case today. And if we are careful to obey all this law before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us, that will be our righteousness. Driving out the nations, chapter 7. When the Lord our God brings you into the land you are entering to possess and give driving out before you many nations, the Hittites, the Gergashads, Ammonites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, seven nations larger and stronger than you, and when the Lord your God has delivered them over to you and you have defeated them, then you must destroy them totally. Make no treaty with them and show them no mercy. Do not intermarry with them. Do not give your daughters to their sons or take their daughters for your sons. For they will turn your sons away from following me to serve other gods and the Lord's anger will burn against you and will quickly destroy you. This is what you are to do to them. Break down their altars, smash their sacred stones, cut down their Asherah poles, and burn their idols in the fire. For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. I'm going to stop here today and continue next time. Thank you for watching. Hello, this is Dr.